Mâncarea viitorului nu mai este un concept atât de îndepărtat, deși vedem schimbări în dieta oamenilor, iar noile tehnologii propun produse la care în urmă cu câțiva ani nu îndrăzneam să ne gândim. De exemplu, carnea crescută în laborator sau burgerii vegetali. Acesta au scopul de a reduce risipa sau de a diminua poluarea provocată de ferme. Însă sunt și produse pe care le consumăm acum și care vor fi la fel de căutate și peste două decenii. Colega noastră, Maria Coman, a vorbit cu un cercetător de la Universitatea Americană Virginia Tech despre toate acestea. Haideți să vedem! My research group at Virginia Tech is, is doing the research to convert food waste into different food ingredients, including protein and fiber. So what we is what the technology we are using is called a targeted separation. So precisely we we targeted to sep, target to separate the proteins and the other and the fibers from food waste, concentrate them and purify them and recycle them to the food supply chain and the food ingredient to support the sustainability of the food industry. Any kind of food waste can be used in your um, kind of research? So we, we are dealing with several types of food waste. We are dealing uh, food waste from the food processing, processing plants. We call the food processing byproducts like orange peels, apple pomace. We are also working on the food waste from the restaurants we call it as a consumer's waste, which is a little bit more nasty and challenging to work on. Food waste, in, it is in this moment one of the, I think, most important problems that we have. Do you think it's reversible? Do you think we can do something not to waste so many food? Yes, of course. I, 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 I firmly believe we can solve the food waste issues with the technology advancement and more importantly with, a, with a, the society's awareness of the importance of the food waste problems and, and its associated environmental impacts and the economic impacts. But I have to say this is not an easy work. It's not going to happen tomorrow. There's still a long way to go. Food is also changing very fast and what we are eating now, it's not the same that we uh, ate, I don't know, 20 years ago. Do you think the food from now has the same uh, nutrients and all of other substances that we need it? Mm. Yes, you are, you are right. The food is changing very fast. Uh, but I think it's also essential nutrients like proteins and carbohydrates will still remain the essential nutrients to support our daily activities. So in terms of those nutrients, I don't think there will be a, will be a big change. But during the past 10 years, we are, we are aware of the uh, more and more uh, attention. People are paying more and more attention to those, uh, to those micronutrients like the, uh, that provide additional health benefits like omega-3 oils, vitamins, antioxidants. So when when you people are doing the groceries, I people are paying more attention to those uh, food that contain some of the micronutrients that provide additional benefits, and those food claimed as healthy food usually get more attention by the consumers and get the price premium on the market. Do you think in 20 years from now, what do you think we are going to eat? Um, I don't know. Pizza will still exist. <laughs> uh, Yeah, so as, as you mentioned, the food is changing very fast. And nowadays, people are talking about a different kind of food, like a novel food, 3D printed food, and the lab grown meat, and the tech, and also the cultured meat during the tech, uh, because of a technology advancement. But I think those fresh produce like tomatoes and potatoes will still provide a mainstream food supply to our diet in the near future, uh, in say in 20 years. Not, This food has been supplying us for over hundreds, even thousands of years. And there's a reason behind it, not only because this food provides essential nutrients to us, but also uh, pe people like us I enjoy the fresh flavor and the natural produced products.